Hello, my name is Lee and welcome to this video series on the foundations of um, Unreal Blueprints. In this video series, we're not going to take a look at how to string together um, long networks of nodes in order to create game events, but instead we're going to take a fundamental look at the different nodes and how they can be used um, effectively. Now, in this video, we're going to look at the difference between using local space and world space. So with that being said, let's jump in and get started. So imagine that this is our game world and our game world has a floor and it has a wall and it that is represented um, with a world coordinate system. So we have an X representing the vertical, a Y representing the horizontal and a Z representing the depth. Now assume inside our game world we have an, a game asset. So in this particular case we have a square and for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to remove the Z value and just work with the X and Y. So this square has a pivot, which is in the center, and the world space is based on the environment around this object, meaning that if we were to move this object up, down, left or right, it's going to adhere to the X, Y value of the world. It's also going to adhere to the XY value of the rotation of the pivot. So if we were to move this up, it's going to go up like this and down. And we move this left and right, it's going to go left and right like this. Now, assume that, for example, we have taken this object in the game and we have rotated this, say, 45 degrees. Now, as it is adhering to the world space, what's going to happen is if we were to move this object up and down, it's actually going to do something like this. It's just going to go up and down left and right. Now, what happens if we actually want to move this up and down, but we want to base it based on the local rotation of the pivot point? That is to say, because we've rotated this by 45 degrees, the X is on the, on the square here is the up axis, but it has been rotated. So in order to do that, we'd have to use the local space. And once we do that, when we move this object up and down based on the local space, what we're going to get is the up and down value is going to be more sort of in a diagonal um, fashion like so. So let's jump into Unreal and sort of give you more of a visual example or visual representation of what's going on here. So I'm going to start by right clicking and creating a new blueprint and I'm going to choose actor and I'm going to call this cube rotation because we're going to make this cube rotate. And let's open this up and we're going to choose add components and let's add a cube and let's press save and then let's place this into the world and pull this up and let's press play. Now, as you can see, as we're inside the world, it's actually not doing anything right now and we want to make this rotate. So in order to do that, let's double click on the um, cube here and it's going to take us directly into the graph view which is perfect. Now from here, what we want to do is we want to type in event tick. And this is basically going to fire off an event every second or every delta second in the game. And what we want to do is we want to rotate. So we're going to right click and type in make rot, which is going to make a rotation. And in order for it to rotate, we need to times the yaw. So I'm going to take the yaw and pull out an execution um, pin here and I'm going to type in the multiply sign and we want to multiply a float by a float and then we can plug in the delta seconds here into the input of execution A and for the um, secondary execution we want to right click choose promote to variable and we want to set the name here I'm going to set the name here to um, your per sec for your per seconds and we want to give this a default value of 90 in order to do that first of all we need to compile our uh, blueprint and then we get access to the default value here and we set this to 90. Now this is where we get to choose where or how we want to rotate this so to start with we're going to rotate this on the world location or the, the world coordinate system so we're going to type in add actor world rotation and we can put the um, delta seconds into the value here or the delta rotation into the return value and press 
save and let's place this as a tab up here and press play. Now, as you can see, our square or our cube in this particular case is now rotating. Now, if we were to take this and we were to rotate this by 45 degrees or around 40 degrees, and then we were to press play again, you can see that even though the uh, cube is rotating, it's still rotating based on the world location. That is to say, the entire environment's um, coordinate system being that we have the X, Y, and Z is exactly the same as it was before. Now, because we rotate this by 45 degrees, we may want this to rotate based on that uh, rotation. In order to do that, we can go back into our blueprint and let's just disconnect these uh, this uh, node right here and let's again drag out an execution pin and type in add actor and now we want to type in instead of using world we'll use local rotation and we can put the um, the delta rotation into the return value and after that let's compile and let's go and choose play and make this uh, ledger now you can see it's using the the local coordinate system of the object here. And uh, as it's rotating, it's actually rotating based on the up axis of the cube. So let's open this up. So that's basically the idea between local and world coordinate systems. We can do many different things with this. It doesn't have to rotate. We can move this up and down if we'd like. So we could, for example, choose add actor and we can use, for example, transform. Okay. And we can transform this based on those values if we'd like also. But with that being said, that's the very basics of um, how this works. I'd like to thank you for watching. And if you like this type of um, presentation of uh, of understanding the difference uh, differences in the nodes of of uh, the uh, blueprints and how they work please let me know in the comments below um, I'd love to make more of these but until then thank you for watching and uh, bye bye for now